Once you have your slides finished, go to your first slide and you're going to click your Pear Deck icon so you can open up your activity. Okay, and you do have the Start Lesson button and that's where you're going to click. Once you click that, you're going to realize that you have two different modes. You have the student paced activity and the instructor paced activity. The student paced means that students can go at a pace that's comfortable for them. They can move through the slides freely whenever they want to, and they can go back and forth. That one's really good for homework and NTI. It's also good if you're doing like station rotation activities to where you don't want to be sitting or guiding them through the slides. The instructor paced activity lets you as the teacher be the facilitator of those slides and the student's screen will not move forward or backward until you press the button and then everybody's screen will move along with you. And that's the one I'm going to show first. So I'm going to click instructor pace and it's going to power up my slides for me. And it does take a few minutes in order for it to launch. So um, I'm going to pause for just a second. All right. And once it loads, it's going to tell the students to go to joinpd.com and type in this code. So I'm going to go there so we can have a student. Okay. And I'm in. Once all the students have the code, I'm going to click close it. If you ever need to get it back, you can always press right up there and it will um, present or it will be larger for them. I can see that there's one person on these slides and it's Stella. Um, so Stella cannot move forward or backwards on the slide until I, the teacher, go forward. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide. And on the student screen, they're showing what um, the slide is. And on my screen, it's showing me everybody's responses. So if I go back to... The tab that I cl clicked on before because I have two open. This one's going to be the teacher screen where you can see everybody's responses as they're trickling in. And this one's going to let you just show the students. Um, it's going to let you show them what it looks like on their screen. So you can have it as you're facilitating. So Stella is going to put in a response. Okay, and if I go over to my teacher presentation, I can see that Stella has shared something. Now, if I want all screens to be locked, like if I want them to stop typing for a minute because I can see as they are working. Oh, I've confused my computer. <laughs> okay, I got it fixed. <laughs> um, if I don't want to have two tabs open, if I don't want to keep going back to that one, that's fine. I can click show responses down here on the bottom and I can scroll up and down through the list of responses like that. If I want to lock everybody's screens to where they can't type anymore or they can't start typing until I give instructions, I can do that and the students cannot type anything until I click unlock screen. Now they can't type anything on their slides, okay? Now something cool about the lock screen is that you could always choose a time limit for how long you want them to be locked as well. You can choose between 30, one minute, or three minutes. If I'm in a lesson and I start realizing that students have a lot of questions or um, they're not getting it, I can give a new prompt on the fly by clicking words, new prompt, and I can choose from one of these templates 
Um, or I can scroll over and find one that I like. So I can always pull forward some of the content that I've already had, or I can use one of these. So I'm just going to pick this one. Okay. And it just inserts it right after the slide that we were just on. Um, the three dots has some really cool features. You can toggle on that student pace. So if you are to the student work time and you are ready for them to be able to go back to watch the videos that we had previously, then you can click here and transition this whole activity to student pace, then they can navigate those slides on their own. Um, you also have the open dashboard in new window or on new device, and that's that new tab that it has open up there. And then you can end session or you can just click end. Now, if you don't press end, it's okay. It's going to save that for you. But if you press end, it means that you're finished with that session, okay, for the day. Now, I'm going to do that because I want to show you what's going to happen if you need to get back into it tomorrow. Let's say you didn't get finished with all of your slides today. When you press end, it automatically saves that on your Pear Deck um, dot com and under your username. And then it kicks you out of the presentation. So to get back, you can go to Pear Deck dot com because you might use those same slides over and over all day um, for different classes. And when you get to paydeck.com, you're going to click Teacher Login. You want to click Sessions from up here at the top. And now notice where it says Lesson 5, 19, 21. That's the one that I just stopped. If I click these three dots, I can reopen Session. And if I click on this icon, the one that looks like a little easel, that's going to open up my classroom view to where I can see the slides like I just saw a few moments before. And it's going to pick up right where we left off, and then I can continue just like we were yesterday. So that's pretty easy. Um, now, I want to break and go to the student paced activity. The student paced activity you had a chance to explore as a student at the beginning of this session. Um, it works exactly the same way. So when I click on it, it's going to open up a launcher for me. And when it gets finished loading, I can share directly to classroom or I can copy the link and put it wherever I needed to go. If I click that share to classroom, it's just like so many of the other things that we've used over the last year or longer. Um, and it just will open up the opportunity for you to pick which class it is that you want to share it to. And if you want to post it as an assignment question or make an announcement. And when you select one of those, it's going to look exactly like what you would imagine and you can post it directly to that stream and you will have access or your students will have access to it. So you just post the question or post the link wherever it is and then students will be able to navigate through those slides. Um, however fast or slow they need to.